Sudan's paramilitary rapid support forces said on Tuesday it was open to an immediate unconditional ceasefire through talks with the Sudanese army as it signed a declaration with the Takadum Civilian Coalition and invited the army to do the same. The Addis Ababa declaration by Abdallah Hamdok, the former prime minister who initiated the meeting, and General Mohamed Hamdan Daglo, also known as Hemeti, commander of the paramilitaries. The meetings are the first between paramilitaries and civilians since the start of the war in Sudan on April 15. The deal is a roadmap aimed at achieving a humanitarian ceasefire that will enable aid to be delivered to millions of Sudanese who are in absolute need and suffering the repercussions of war. The four-page document, signed by Abdallah Hamdok and Mohamed Hamdan Daglo, sets out in nine points the need to establish a framework for resolving the humanitarian crisis and insists on the principles of giving power to civilians in order to install a democratic, unified and federal Sudanese state entirely rid of the cassettes of the former regime. Among the important points of which both parties agreed, the formation of a national committee to investigate abuses committed against civilians. According to the document, the two parties agreed on the return of civilians to areas controlled by FSR who are expected to release 451 detainees as a sign of goodwill. A nine-month war in Sudan, which now faces the world's largest displacement crisis, has devastated the country's infrastructure and prompted warnings of famine. Attempts to end the conflict through negotiations, led by the United States and Saudi Arabia, have so far come to nothing, and previous agreements to protect civilians have gone unheeded. The war was sparked by a dispute between Sudan's army, Chief Abdel Fattah al buhan and his former deputy and RSF leader, Hamdan Dagalo, who both came to power in 2019 after Austin Omar al-Bashir.